appreciate that 1,000 percent, man. There you I go. Think your brother is in here, but I'm yeah, not I see here. him. I'm here. Let's see. Oh, there you. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why my. There we go. Okay. I'm not listening. I'm new to this whole Zoom thing, so. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's a learning progress. Um, but uh, how are you guys doing, man? Uh, how, hey, how's man. everything on you guys' side? Amazing, man. We're, we're blessed, brother. Families are doing well. Everyone's healthy. And we just stay in quarantine, man, you know? Hey, got to stay clean. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> it's just one thing, man. I'm not really messing with the hand sanitizer no more, man. It you need to leave that alone. Mess me up, Malik. <laughs> you need to leave that alone. Yeah, straight soap, soap and water, man. Lots of water, lots of yeah. water. Yeah. But uh, we can go ahead and get started. Um, if I could have you guys, you know, start off by saying who you guys are um, and what you know, you guys have been doing within the last, you know, few months, weeks, things like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to start and I'm going to let my brother pick up. Well, basically, man, we are like a platform, man. The name of the company is called Vibe Sessions. And what we do, man, we talk about life, love, and music. Now, how it all came about, um, like me and my brother have been talking about doing something very, very special you know, we wanted to start a podcast. Um, you know, we talked about it last year. We came up with the idea, you know, we was going to call it Green Pie. And we was going to, you know, you take the last name of me and his first name. We came up with the company Green Pie, which is still in effect. But how we got this particular chance to do it, um, I, you know, I sing in an R&B group, pop group by the name of Riff. We were in the movie Lean On Me. Mm -hmm. uh, we had that famous bathroom scene uh, where we had to sing the school song with Morgan Freeman. Yep. So I picked up a phone because we're in a pandemic. I'm like, look, man, we got to figure out a way to stay connected to the people because, you know what I mean, they need it right now. You know what I mean? So some of us was with it and some of us weren't. You know what I mean? So I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What am I doing? Me and my brother have been talking about doing this thing. We're in a pandemic, man. Let's get up here, man, and let's just see what happens. So we came up with Vibe Sessions along with my, um, you know, our producer, Danielle Silver. We call her D-Ski. She hates that name, so we're going to call her D. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 uh, you know, we came, we came up with Vibe Sessions, man, and we were just – Figuring it out, man. Figuring it out. Figuring it out. Like, how can we get to the people? Keep it positive. Keep their minds off of what's going on in the world. Not talking about all of that stuff like politics. Uh, um, you know, they doing protesting now, man. Like, you know, you know, we dilly dabble on like hot topics, but you know, we try to keep it clean. We try to have adult conversations, like. Yesterday, no, Saturday, we had a conversation about what not to say when you're in an argument with your loved one. You feel me? And the people started responding, man, started responding. We just, you know, so we keep the conversation going. We play good music. And, you know, we, 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 we try to take the people mind off of the everyday thing that they singing right now on the media. I'm gonna let my brother step in and give his take on it but that's that's what we are i'm nitty green and that's little pie and we're vibe sessions together go ahead p <clears throat> all right so like you said it was just um something that we had planned however uh the way we planned it it was totally different than you know we was going to be out touching people interviewing people just you know making it fun just making it a fun platform we we always wanted to be different in our approach so what he did was one day he called me. He's like, yo, let's get it going. He said, but the way I want to start it, though, is I want to interview you because I just wrote a book that will be out in August entitled The Transition, which is um, which was inspired by my life after divorce. So I just from a man's perspective, just wanted to kind of share, you know what I mean, through my writing. So he started with interviewing me. So once we did the interview, people really enjoyed the conversation, two men, two fathers who've both been through 
I mean, knock down, drag out the voices, you know what I mean? Facts. Who had to recover through the process. Um, and so people responded, man, because it was like, you know what I mean? We were real open, man. We were like, we were like yeah. transparent <laughs> like, to, to the thousandth, to the millionth power. We were two transparent men, man. And we didn't hide anything. And we you know we just wanted to share with everybody, man. We wanted other brothers out there that, that understand that if you're going through this process, man, this is what this is how we got through it. And then we wanted women to understand, like, listen, we feel your pain and we go through the same pain as well. So once we did that and we got positive feedback, well, you know, we had a nice little amount of people on the live, you know, we're, we're, we're growing. So once we got that positive feedback, we said, listen, that's our niche. Let's yeah. stay there. Yep. Let's stay there. So again, like he say, instead of, you know, looking at all the rest of the lives that people are doing, because, you know, everybody's home so it's saturated right now all right everybody's picking up off of you know piggybacking off of what everybody else is doing like hot topics if if some celebrities do something they jump on that or that like don't get don't listen i don't want people to misunderstand we're very aware of what's going on yeah right? and we are for what's going on in terms of supporting the positive side of it however it's just so much of it that we decided like when when our people come into vibe sessions we just want to kind of give them relief from that however at the same time give them much needed information because everybody man deals with relationship situations man whether it's with your your spouse your family your children so we just wanted to make sure that we can still provide vital information for people man because they need it everybody being locked in the house they said domestic violence numbers went up went up right these right. are things, man, that this is the co contribution that Vibe Sessions wanted to make to others, man, to kind of, you know, help them heal, save their lives, save their love. You know, just that's just something we wanted to do, man. And we're, we're very passionate about it. Nice. <clears throat> Definitely. That's that's awesome stuff, man. Um, and I I love how you, you know, you guys still mention that you know what's going on in the world, but yet it's, it's, it's vital that you venture off into some other stuff so people aren't getting saturated with the same things every freaking day it's like it's like a an escape escape thing that you guys have going on where people can leave out of the real world and deal with you know other problems that still happen daily as opposed to what's being flashed in the news 24 7 you know and so wow wow hey malik man it's crazy because we realize that um we still have some people shelter in place you know these people lost their jobs man you know what i mean uh, you know but we do know that social media and the phone let's just say the phone yep. period they have it in their hand all the time you can go to a food market man i don't care even with the mask cats that have the mask on walking through the food <laughs> market man you know what i mean they, they still have their phone out player <laughs> they still have their phone that phone is a crazy instrument right now, man. Hey, listen, I got a question though. I'm kind of jealous. Like when y'all talking, it goes on y'all by yourself. Like y'all got the whole screen. What's going on? Can I get some? <laughs> no, so no, no, it, it happens for you. Oh, yeah. now, all right. So listen, right now. All right. So listen, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying, because I'm hyped right now. Because you just told me that, Malik. You just told me this. I'm hyped. <laughs> but you see. People with their mask on, man, and 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 they they still got their phone. So we're hoping around seven o'clock on a Saturday, Eastern Standard Time, people can just come to Vibe Sessions, man, and you know we'll put up a topic, man, and we'll just let people vent and let them know that we're there for them as well. And they're getting music, man, that makes them feel good, man. You know, I kind of start to show off with like some music that maybe cats have never heard before. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then we're going to our conversation, me and my brother, and we just chopping it up. And then he'll go through who's in the live. That's his response. Like, that's his thing. He'll go and he'll read off who's in there and all of the comments, man, and we get the back and forth going. Eventually, we'll grow, man. This is at, like, we're 
in the basement right now. But I believe that if we keep pressing, 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 we gonna be all right, man. All we gonna be all right. All great things eventually come to the light, right? Yeah, man. Exactly. And so uh, I believe in what you guys have going on 1000%. Um, if you could tell people uh, how they can find you guys and how they can uh, you know, tap into what you guys have going on. P, you wanna take that? Well, again, we're on Facebook Live at Nitty Green. That's at N-I-T-T-Y-G-R-E-E-N, like Nancy. That's Facebook Live at Nitty Green every Saturday at 7 p.m. sharp. We're not on long. We don't do two-hour sessions. We do 45 minutes, hour tops, you know, and we just want to, you know, we just try to have a great, great adult conversation, man, much needed like mental, emotional uh, therapy that people really need, man, because we don't always get an opportunity to speak, you know what I mean, what we're feeling. Right. And, and, and we, you know, and just, we just come up with topics, man, that we live, that right. we live and understand that we're not the only one lived these topics, man. Like, like he said, last Saturday we had what not to say in an argument, which, you know, the energy, man. And the crazy part, though, Malik, man, is you can feel the energy in the chat, man, when, when they're popping up with their questions. And that's that's another thing that makes our um, our session different. We don't just see people pop up in the in the live and ignore that they're there. Oh, I hate that so we, much. Yeah, we acknowledge. Trust me, man. When I tell you, yeah, he. I'll wait till he get a, if he's talking. I'll wait till he catch a break. I'll pause yeah. my screen and yeah. I'll make sure yeah. I catch everybody coming in and we do not. But listen, whether you agree with something we're saying or not, it's not about our narrative. It's about you expressing yourself based on the topic that we're discussing. So we don't ignore your question or your comment because you not, you, you're different from what we're saying or how we feel about a situation because we want to be fair and give everybody that option, man, to express how they feel about something so that we can all come to some type of agreement. We're not two grown men bashing women, you know what I mean? Right. We're trying to bring that connection, man, between men and women back, that love, man, that people used to have, that yeah. unconditional love, man. We even had a topic a couple of weeks ago entitled, like, the hidden wounds, man, how people suffer from so much, man, in life, whether it be when you were growing up, abuse, whether it's past relationship abuse whether it's you know and we and we just try to teach people man how to express and come out and open up man where where you can grow definitely and get that self-love back man because when you got self-love man it like man nothing else matters right the sky's the limit man the sky's the limit the world around you is so much better when you love yourself man in a way that you don't expect anyone else to love you you know exactly and, and it's and it's to add on to that like we don't like get in and we don't judge anyone. No. Nah. That's something that we don't do, man. We just have that conversation. We get that feedback. We're talking and people, when we're done, they're shooting us mess messages. You know, we really appreciate y'all. You know, we needed this type of talk. You know what I mean? Don't stop. See, so the people, the people decides if we are going forward or not. And we've been getting positive response, man. So we're hoping that North Dakota get a chance to see this and <laughs> tune in Definitely. and check us out, man, and come into the conversation, listen to some music, man, and, you know, just feel good about life, man. That's where we are. Definitely. Definitely. And I will say this. Uh, the interaction, you know, calling out names and stuff as you guys grow, that's going to – y'all are going to need a secretary. <laughs> we know. That's the numbers for us gonna get hard. <laughs> we we know, we're, but we'll wear the mini hats right now. Right. Yeah. But I know I'm a, I'm gonna need somebody extremely quick on that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That can at least write it down for us, a screenshot it right quick, and and pass it off to us. Right now we good though. We good. We we can yeah. hold it down for a minute. You know. Yeah, I think we in I the basement. Can, I can, yeah. <laughs> I can even. I think I can even hold it up till about a hundred, hundred fifty people. That's on. You oh know. man. Yeah. Listen. Hey, listen. I'll be, he's I'll be, fast. I'll be, I'll be locked in, man. Malik. He's fast, Malik. 
Malik, I be locked in on my people, man. Listen, I, because you know what? They make us, man, and they make the situation. Listen, if that's the case, if they're if we're not going to include them and what's going on, right? Me and my brother just might as well call each other in chat. Yeah. Exactly. You know? So why have this platform and we say we want to help you and we want everybody to, you know, th this is therapeutic for everybody, man. Right? right? And the thing is, and it's such a family environment that nobody's scared to post what they're feeling mm -hmm. in our chat because nobody else is coming like, oh, that's crazy. You know, e you know, Everybody is in there. If there's a situation that a person is dealing with, man, there's people in there like we're praying for you. Yeah. Supporting you. We hope you get through this. And that and that's the type of environment we want to push, man. And listen, it's all about for us integrity, man. We ain't trying to fall off on no no clown stuff just to appease, you know, a certain that we just trying to make sure people are good. So if it takes us a while to win. As long as we're doing the right thing and doing right by people, then it's just going to take us a while, man. But we're going to push this because it's something people need, man. We need we need to start really saving people's lives, man. Enough is enough with right. all the negativity, all the beating each other down. I mean, listen, man, enough is enough, man. We got kids in the streets dying. Why? Because parents are so bruised that they can't even raise their kids, man in the right way they can't love them in the right way man I'm, I'm an educator and you know how many young men that i come across that never had anyone to hug them and tell them that they love them it's just, it's i real. can't imagine it's tough right yeah man tough definitely you know well that's all the time that we have i appreciate you guys so much man um if i could have you guys you know state again who you are uh, how people can tap in with you guys and uh you know show support go ahead p that's you all right well that's my brother nitty green uh you know he's with the group rip they have new music coming out as well and i am little pie who is uh actually the the group's manager <laughs> 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 along with <laughs> being an author who has a book entitled you know the transition coming out soon which was inspired by my life after divorce so you know and you can catch us on the vibe sessions man every saturday we even on holidays we even locked in every saturday 7 p.m again that's facebook live at nitty green that's n-i-t-t-y-g-r-e-e-n nitty green please come check us out i promise you you'll enjoy the conversation and you'll find some good in it for yourself. Hey, Malik, we just want to thank you, man, for letting us get on this platform. And it's a shame, man, that it got to end, man, because we yeah. enjoy chopping it up. That's just what we do. We like chopping it up, man. And you seem like a great interviewer, and we like that, man. Listen, I'm going uh, I'm to I'm do this because I, I love this part of the reason why I do what I do. Um, I enjoy interacting with people, you know, even outside of work and stuff. And so... Um, we can definitely chop it up, you know, after, after this and everything, I would love to. So that's what's up, man. Heck yeah. yeah let's do it, man. Let's get a men's panel going. And we like to thank Katrina Hertz for putting this together for us, man. Yeah. Yeah. We they, she, she does a great job of, uh, you know, reaching out to me and of course, tons of other media platforms and stuff. But, um, I've actually met her a few months ago and that connection has been cool. So. That's a part of the reason why I love this job. I love hearing people and I love, you know, interacting with people outside of work because, you know, life is all about connections and and filling people out, vibing with people, like you guys said, you know? So Bob Sessions, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate your time. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna follow you guys on Facebook and uh we can chat from there. You okay. got it, man. Sounds great. Alrighty then, I'll see you guys. Yes, you sir. Got I appreciate it. you, man.